It's Heather with Ideas to Come, and I am um, showing you my DT project for craft supplies for you. Um, I actually made it and put it on the wall before I made my video, so you're seeing it on my wall. But what it is is just a heart, and I cut the, I drew the shape cut it out of a big piece of poster board and then cut it out of this really thick cardboard and then on top of the cardboard I placed this beautiful fabric what I wanted was I wanted something for my wall to hang my keys on um, that looked prettier than just some hooks on the wall um, on the side here I don't know if you can see that I have the braided trim the purple braided trim let me turn on my light and see if we can see that no Probably not, but I do have that on the side, and then I have Julie's lovely trim here. It's a purple with um, a purple lace with organza, and the organza has different colors, and it. it's very, very pretty. And um, I just glued on, I wish I could show you the back, but I can't. I just glued the fabric on, um, pulled it taut, and glued it on the back. I didn't glue this part, so this part is not actually glued. And then I attached my hooks. These ones I painted white, and these are just some of those screw-in hooks that you screw in, and um, then I can just hang my keys on, and it's there, it's convenient where I want it. I have a place for all my keys. I can add more hooks if I want to, um, but I love it because it hangs on my wall next to my door. And it looks super pretty and you can see right here where I pulled the other hooks off instead of using my heat gun like I should have and pulled them very easily off without tearing off the paint so of course that's gonna need to be um, stuck I mean put some putty on there and repainted but I wanted to share that with you I also have one more project I'm gonna share with you in just a second so the second thing I wanted to show you was this little tin can that I had Found, I believe at a thrift store and I covered it with a couple of different laces from Julie's shop this white one underneath is it's real elastic -y and it has some iridescent um, glitter on it and then this beautiful pink uh, trim and I just circled that around twice on here I used some of Julie's some of those flat back pearls and I hung some of these beautiful gems from the side so um, as you can see they hang down I loved the portrait um, on here on top so I didn't do anything different to that other than I put some um, some ultra thick Mod Podge on here to make it kind of glossy and then I used also some more of these beads from Julie's shop some of the um, braided trim here I love this trim and inside I also made a little mini book and it has some of this beautiful black lace from Julie's shop I just put it around and you can see I have a vintage vintage image from Pinterest I like to get my vintage images from Pinterest and then it's just a little book that opens up like this and has a, some pattern paper on the back and I distress the edges and I love these images that are so pretty of these ladies with their hats on back in the day when ladies used to wear hats and that's just gonna go inside of the tin so that's the other part of my um, DT project for this month of April. May is among us quickly now. So wanted to share that with you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.